All right, this is what we have so far. Again, kind of a background color, nothing too great, but we have a kind of an unordered list now on the left-hand side, and then we have a box called a, a div tag, D-I-V. Uh, we gave an ID name of box, and we it's holding the image, which we floated left inside the box, and then the paragraphs of text that we uh, uh, made, made larger and justified text dash align justify, which kind of cleaned up the spacing. And uh, it's you know looking a little better now. What we're going to do is we're going to grab what's called uh, at font face font. We're going to grab some font files, literally the files, place them in the same location as the web page, just like we want to do with the image. Okay, everything for this web page together in the same location, and we're going to separate. Uh, we're going to um, redesign these these three tags right here. Large heading with your name and period, the title of what this thing is, and then a little subheading above your unordered list that says My Class Projects. I'm going to use a different font, and it's a font that I don't have in my or on my computer. I'm going to actually go to the internet and find it. So uh, this is a new in CSS. I'm going to do, uh, it's called at font face font, the at sign and then font face. And if you do a search for at font face font, all these sites will come up. And you're looking for free fonts. So um, let me click on, uh, I'm going to go to Specky Boy Design. Uh, it's been around forever. And hopefully these are free. Sometimes you'll go to free, free stuff sites and they won't be free. <laughs> so. Um, but it shows you an example, and it shows you how to uh, to get. And I'm actually going to grab one of these. Let's see where this is at here. Um, where are maybe I maybe I missed it here. Give me just a second. So I'm going to go the the kilogram. This this thing right here. I kind of like how bold it is. It should be a lot of fun to to design with. We're going to go to the download page. Now, this is a little odd. Let me see if I can figure out how to download this. Um, let me go all the way down. It shows examples. And then down here, it says download for free here. And I'm going to click. Sometimes you have to search for things. And here it is right here. Okay. And I'm going to download this what's called an uh, OTF file. I'm going to click on it. It's going to download in my downloads folder. And then uh, here's the file right here. Remember on a Mac, when you hit the magnifying glass, you're going to click on the magnifying glass. It's going to show you exactly where this file is here, right here. So we're going to um, find it, and then we're going to copy it. Go Command-C on the keyboard to copy, and then here it is. I've already actually placed it, but I'll do it again. I'm going to place it in there. Now, uh, what I did with mine is I found that file. I copied and pasted in the same location as my web page. And notice that I renamed it. It's called kg.otf instead of kilogram underscore kg dash one, which I never want to remember. I never could remember. So if, I could, if you hit the return key on the actual file, you want to keep the .otf because that's the file type that the computer recognizes and what you want to do is just you know call it you know anything short okay I called my KGG or KG so uh, it won't let me do that I'll just keep this new one KGG and it changes it and from now on it's a smaller name it's a very simple name that you can remember okay so once you do that again same location as the web page can't stress that enough I'm going to go back to my coding, and how this works, again, this is somewhat new. Right here, notice I'm inside my style tags right here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add this coding at the top of my style tag. It doesn't matter, but most designers will add this at font face at the top, the first thing inside your style tags. And notice I have the at sign font dash face and then the curly brackets, and then I have font family kg. What this is, anytime I want to use this font, 
uh, I'm going to say font dash family kg, and the computer's going to know, oh, okay, load this file, and here's the name of the actual file. And again, I only need the file name because it's the same location as this web page. Okay? So anytime the computer sees the letters kg, it's going to load this file right here as the text. And all I have to do is, so here it is right here. Again, I have the open curly bracket, closing curly bracket, and these two lines of things to do. This is basically the hot word that means this. Okay? So all I have to do here is down, I'm going to go down to my uh, H1. And my H1 is right below, is the first thing on my page. So right below the body. What I like to do in CSS is I like to put things in sequential order. You don't have to, but I like to. That way you can find them. So right underneath my body, I'm going to put my cursor blinking right there. I'm going to say, hey, computer, we have an H1 tag, that large heading. It has my name in the period. Um, and here's what I want to do. Have an open curly bracket, hit the return key a few times, closed off the curly bracket, and now I'm going to start to create. And all I have to do is I can go up and grab this line of code, just that first line right there, and go Command-C. And I'm going to go down to my H1 here and go Command-V. And now the computer is going to say, oh, okay, you want that large heading to be that, that new file. Okay, got it. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, now here it is right here. Again, it's nothing big. I need to make it bigger, more pronounced. Uh, it'd be fun to kind of color it eventually. It's um, kind of a, has that certain flair to it. I'm going to go back to my coding, and I'm going to add another line of code to make this larger. I'm going to say, if you remember, font dash size, oop, size, colon, 70px. Let's try that. That's pretty big. Okay, and I'm going to save it. Command S. Go back into my page. Where are you, page? Well, I'll just do it this way. Okay, now it's, it's much bigger. Okay, and uh, it should be a lot of fun, as I said, to design it once I get into the coloring and the, the laying out more of the text. We're going to do the same thing with these two tags right here the little the smaller headings we're going to make the same font size font style so i'm going to go back into my code and i can literally if i want copy this whole stuff for the h1 tag and remember down here in the html we have an h3 and an h4 so all i have to do is go up here close that here Go right below here in my CSS, go Command V, make this an H2, or H3, sorry, H3. And I want to make it bit, uh, smaller, so I'm going to make it uh, 40 pixels. And then let me do the same thing with the H4, I think it is. Again, I pasted the uh, code that I had for the H1, make it H4, make it smaller, and let's see how it looks. And all I have to do is, once I save it, reload my page. There it is right there. Okay? Now, there's some stuff we need to do. Again, I'll, I'll colorize the whole page with a, a palette from Color Lovers or something. And I also, this tag right here and this tag right here kind of go together. So you really want those two together. So I'm going to move this H3 tag up. And how I'm going to do that is, I'm going to say margin-top. A minus number I'm going to take away empty space from top of it okay so again all I want to do is I'm going to go back into my code I'm going to talk to the h3 tag here it is right here and I'm going to add a line of code and I'm going to say margin dash top minus 25 px I have no idea if that's enough or not but it's a good starting point I'm going to save it command s I'm going to reload my page and notice that it went up. I'm going to do the same thing. Let me let me add let me add uh, 10 to that minus 35 and save it and then reload uh, and maybe a little bit more. 
So let's go oh, 42. <laughs> and we'll see if 7 pixels will be enough. Let's see. Nope. Maybe we're getting close, though. We're close. Let's say 48 minus, four, sorry, minus 48. And okay, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit better. Again, those two lines should stay together. Okay, I think it's a design-wise, it's a good idea. All right, so um, eventually what we'll do is we'll move this down a little bit. We'll actually move the unordered list over, so the unordered list is underneath here. We'll move the unordered list or the, the box down, so the unordered list and box are at the same level, same height. Um, we'll colorize it, okay? Um, but that is about it. The, and the next, next thing we'll do is we'll start to design the unordered list. Thanks.